Dr. Jesse Duffler with Chain Reaction Physical Therapy here, and today we're going to go over sideline hip abduction. This is a great exercise for hip stability paired with the clamshell muscles that I have on another video. Um, it's a really great way to um, make sure hips are nice and strong for a more dynamic activity. So we're going to start with being up against a wall. My hips are going to be about one fist length away from the wall, so I'm not directly against it. Like a lot of exercises, when I have you on your side, we want head to be supported on a pillow or on your arm. The more we prop up like this, the easier it is to start to activate some of these trunk muscles, which is what we're not going for. We're looking at really getting right through here. So, we're going to start with head down, hips just a little bit away from the wall, bottom leg is curled underneath you, hips and shoulders are stacked. I'm not starting to rotate back towards the wall. Then legs going to come out. I recommend socks for this so you can uh, a little bit more easily glide up and down the wall. So then we're going to bring leg out and heel is going to touch against the wall. Now the most important part of this is we don't want to let our TFL start to take over and let us do this. So what we need to make sure we do is knee and foot stay pointed straight out. My foot's even pointed just a little bit up. I find the best cue is just to think about what your knee's doing. You want your knee to point straight out and not let it start to rotate down, especially as you start to come down into that arc. So from here, all we're going to do is we're going to keeping hips stacked using this muscle right here. You want to push your leg up the wall just a little bit and then back down. Again, as we come up and start to come back down, don't let toes start to come down like this and rotate down. Leg is nice and straight, knee is straight, and we're just drawing a small arc up and down the wall without letting ourselves lean into the wall without letting us rotate. So it's just back and forth here. You should start to feel a burn right through here. If you feel it more in the front, try splitting yourself a little bit further away from the wall and really extending that hip back. We're looking for this hip extension here as we do this exercise. Let me demonstrate that again, because what I just did was back extension. This is what we don't want. We want hip extension without arching that back. So the idea is to find the spot where you can be far enough away from the wall that you have to extend that hip without arching back at all. Head on over to Chain Reaction PT if you have any questions and give it a try.